Hi, welcome to Tea and Mystics. Today I will be sharing a short review of the book uh, Into the Silent Land by Martin Laird while I am sipping on some Monk's Blend Tea from Citizen Tea. Into the Silent Land is by the priest and professor Martin Laird and it is sharing and looking at contemplative Christian practices. I actually read this book about a year ago, maybe a little more, and I was revisiting it recently to add some passages of it to my commonplace book. And when I was going over the book again, I was just struck by a lot of the wisdom that is within the book. If you have any interest in contemplative or meditative practices, then I think you might find this book um, useful or at least offer some moments of thought and discussion. Uh, it's a nice look at contemplative practices, specifically contemplative Christian practices. And one of the things I really appreciated about the book is that Laird is aware that um, currently when looking at contemplative and meditative practices, there's a certain way of sharing them that's almost prescriptive. That is that um, we feel like we have to follow a very specific path and then that will give us this outcome and we are doing this so that we end up here. You know, it's a, almost more like a remedy than a practice in itself. And he addresses this in the book in the beginning and throughout the book and I appreciated um, some of what he had to say on that and then of course looking at how he approaches and shares these practices. So I found it a very intriguing book and it leaves you a lot um, leaves you with a lot to think about and of course I think with any of these sort of books it can leave you with questions or perhaps ideas that go against some of what he says or you find yourself nodding along because you've always felt um, a similar to the ways that he's sharing. So again if you have any interest in contemplative practices and especially if you do um, Christian contemplative practices then I would definitely recommend picking up this book and I thought I would now just share a couple of passages from the book to give you a bit of a taste of what you will find in it. The practice of silence cannot be reduced to a spiritual technique. Techniques are all the rage today. They suggest a certain control that aims to determine a certain outcome. They clearly have their place a spiritual practice simply disposes us to allow something to take place. Union with God is not something that needs to be acquired, but realized. Cultivating a contemplative practice, such as using a prayer word, the breath, sitting in stillness, is not to reduce prayer to a technique. Techniques imply a certain control and focus on a determined outcome. Contemplative practice is a skill, a discipline that facilitates a process that is out of one's direct control. Silence is living, dynamic, and liberating. The practice of silence nourishes vigilance, self-knowledge, letting go, and the compassionate embrace of all whom we would otherwise be quick to condemn. Today I am sipping on some Monk's Blend Tea from Citizen Tea. I really enjoy Monk's Blend's tea. I like trying um, different versions of it from different tea companies, but I really do enjoy the Citizen Tea one quite a bit. Um, it just has a nice like vanilla flavor to it and just really blends everything well. So. I find it a wonderful tea to have while reading. Thanks so much for tuning in to Tea and Mystics. Cheers!